so much news online, but there's no news about the shit that we look at in the real world. Barely ever gets really reported on. Don't, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm asking, I'm, I, I, like, I'm being that bitch. I'm being the little shit I is, that's all. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, this morning, Hi. we want to know, do you think the popular social media app, TikTok, should be banned? Mm. We're asking this because happening later today, uh, the social media giant could be a, a thing of the past pretty soon. So the House is expected to move forward with a vote uh -huh. that would ban TikTok here in the United States. Right. This is unless the China-based company cut ties with the app. So right now, the social media company is asking creators to use hashtag keep TikTok to share what the app means to them and share its positive impact. People are just hungry for something that's anything like vines, and it's nothing like vines even. You know what I mean? It's the silliest shit. It's it's the silliest shit in the world. I don't know. I, I, I don't get it, personally, myself, because, you know, um, I don't use TikTok. Like, TikTok's great for good information. Oh, yeah, they're really, like, this is all these memories, all these sources. How can you get rid of this? There's millions of users. Everyone's got something to say. You know what people watch more on TikTok? Controversial political shit. Which, by the way, and I posted this in my community post, but I doubt anybody even looked at that. Because, you know, I don't get on as often. <coughs> Isn't it funny how we're in a recession? Isn't it funny how we're in a recession? But the gas prices are still going up. You know, it's like people forget about Jamaica and Venezuela and all of them countries that went through their own recession. The number one thing that always usually happens if you're really, really going through a recession and your economy is crashing is the gas drops significantly. Significantly. You know, the other day it was five some. Now it's like 126. What's going on here, right? You know, trying to get people to spend as much money on gas as possible in order to make up for the crash that's about to come. Better yet, why is this government um, looking up everybody's, like, um, piggy banks to see if they're hiding a $2 bill they didn't tell them, you know? If I didn't know any better, I'd almost say we're getting ready to go to war! You know, they need to scrape, almost like they're scraping up all the money to pay for uh, what it's gonna cost. Being on every American's neck, being like, no, it's not that you owe us, you just need to be in part of this. We can't do this whole war shit without you. Uh, I'm, I, like, uh, on TikTok, as an enemy, th sure. Sure, we could say that, but in reality, it's just more or less the government's getting there to everything. They could pose a possibility that when they enter this game, someone could take their fucking battleship. A down, down, baby. Oh, sing in the way, though. Baby. But many lawmakers say TikTok is a threat to the American people by giving China user data. So they're basically saying, hey, you either can sell it off to somebody else uh -huh, uh -huh. Who, who's not a Chinese owned company or you can be banned in the U.S. Those would be the two options. For President Donald Trump, you can say here he's chiming in. He says he's worried a TikTok ban would grow the amount of users on Facebook. Which he calls, quote, the enemy of the people. So, I mean, Trump does have a point. Didn't that record, like, Zuckerberg in a meeting yet again about his fucking website? And him being like, oh, well, I don't know. Um, if every user encounters this, this might be CP, but there is information about what uh, what you can do with this CP. And then, Tom, and then Ted Cruz is like, but how many people click the learn more? Compared to the go ahead and show and st you know all on his Instagram and shit and it's just like I don't know man this is, but this and again this is how like monopolies kind of work too but at the same time I'm not sure if this is entirely like a capitalistic move or one for an effort of a political motivation and war making you know honestly TikTok is a toss up of both really what's going on from what I'm perceiving. During the pandemic, and I know everyone's sick of hearing that shit, right? But it was a significant moment where everyone was forced to stop doing what humans do best, which is work. Um, despite what others will say. Being like, oh, your life wasn't meant for you to work every day. So then what the fuck were you meant to do? What the fuck were you going to do other than go to your fucking job? <clears throat> Sit around the house all day and bitch about the internet? I'm sure. I'm sure. But from what I'm telling, it's like the government right now is going after anything anything that helped 
support people that was outside government assistance. Unless it was a job that pays fucking taxes the proper way. The way they want them to, anyway. Uh. Well. Considered an enemy. Because I, I, I'm really feeling, I feel like we're about to get ready to go to war, so. Not really taking a stance on, on TikTok one way or the other, just more or less, he doesn't like Facebook. Um, <laughs> many... <laughs> Uh, GOP leaders are disagreeing with his opposition, and so they're going to go ahead and charge ahead with today's vote. So this morning, we've been asking people uh, all morning long, what do you think? Do you think TikTok should be banned? Uh, comment below. We had a lot of people chime in this morning, too. Uh, some saying, please do not get rid of TikTok. A TikTok ban? No, keep TikTok. Uh, we like have too much. Yes. I hope none of these are adults, but I wouldn't be surprised. I, I hope it's nobody under the age of 35. I'm 38, I'll give it three years. Anybody under the age of 35 or 35 and above doing this? Anyone the age 35 and above freaking out about TikTok? You need a fucking life. You need a fucking life. You need a fucking life. You need to do something. Start that business that the government is. Dear sweet Christ in heaven. Hold on. Sorry about that. I just dropped a whole bunch of shit off my couch on the other side. Not where he's on the floor, but when it, it's against the wall. And that's just like, oh, okay. I just cleaned over there yesterday, but that's okay. Anyway, but yeah, if you're 35 and up, you should not be worried about TikTok. It's a goddamn website. Um, I understand if you're worried about it, if you are a content creator and all your content comes from TikTok, though, I'd understand that position. <laughs> like, do you know how many people watch TikTok just for content to show to other people on YouTube? Which, it's, you know, technically when you really look at it, that is, that is plagiarism. That, that literally is plagiarism. It'd be wholly different if you were using footage from YouTube, because at least in YouTube, the TOS says, you know, like, anything uploaded to YouTube, more or less, can be used as, um, fair use, as long as you transform it, uh, it, 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 it bathe it and dress it up, take it to a nice dinner, don't make it a whore, you know, stuff like that. Like, YouTube usually allows people to take others' videos and do that. Um, but TikTok doesn't in any way or form belong to YouTube. TikTok's footage from other people. People will gather, like, at least an hour's worth of shit that they find off of TikTok. Which is, like, whatever. And post it up. For their viewers to see. It's easy. You just record it, and then you mesh it together, and then you, you got video to re react to. Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with reaction channels. It's just one of those things where it's like... Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's just a struggle. It's a struggle. Yeah, but then you see there are a few, a okay, few a knows. knows. Yeah. But... Hmm. So, oh, yes, ban TikTok in the U.S. Okay, in so maybe TikTok. more split than we were. Usually, when we've done hits on this before, it seems like it's almost always like a, we're tired of it, get rid of it, and now what it's... What the fuck? What? Keep TikTok. We have too much government overreach. The U.S. or China? Which one are you, which one are you referring to in this? Because I'm confused which one you're talking about. And also, keep TikTok. And it's like, keep TikTok for what? So you could be continually entertained? That's kind of weird. Like, do you guys ever stop playing? <laughs> do people ever stop playing? Do people ever, like... Oh, what's... oh, someone's like, yes, and TikTok. Yes, TikTok should be banned. Yes, ban TikTok to in the USA. The government one got me, though in congress and now it's a little bit more split i don't know if anyone else is noticing that but i think that's interesting you know, it has to go through it has to get through it goes through congress the senate and when it goes to the senate yeah. it, it'll be more i think yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot more debate going on about mm -hmm. whether we should ban it or not so it has to get through the senate uh, joy isn't it crazy how like the news is talking more about tiktok than anything else going on right now anything else anything else a dog pissing in the woods is more important than tiktok okay you take it to shit. 
first thing in the morning. Like, it's your God-given right is more important than TikTok right now. But no, I, I like, the news is filled with shit about TikTok. Why? Why, why are, why is the news so it, it, bemused? We're keeping everyone riled up about fucking TikTok. Like, what's the point of that? Can anyone answer me that? No? Okay. I'm just making sure. Mott chiming in saying, I don't use it. Joy <laughs> also saying, it should, well, I don't know. It's a typo, Joy. You mean should or shouldn't be banned. Um, Melissa saying Congress has far more important things to do than worry about TikTok. But I'm sure some... Y'all see that fucking glitch? I'm pretending that's just the video. Parents are like, yes, please get rid of uh, TikTok for my child. But as you mentioned this morning... That's not going to stop the social media problem no, that we no. have. I, I, Something one, will replace it. For sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. For one, I don't think Congress will end up doing anything about it because I think it would be largely unpopular. Mm -hmm. um, that said, I don't think it'd be a bad idea. Uh, only because I do feel like we've talked about it before when it comes to AI. I feel like our lawmakers are really behind the eight ball. Like, a, a, like on all sorts of yeah, technology. Yeah. Social media, mm -hmm. its impacts on kids. Yeah. Um, and, and I... Yeah, I mean, I guess they're behind a ball because now there are people struggling to let go of a fucking app like it's an addiction for the sake of the safety of the United States because they're about to go to fucking war. They're not telling anybody we're going to war, but we're about to go to fucking war. <clears throat> if, we're, if, we're in, if we're in a recession or whatever the fuck it is, why the fuck are gas prices still going up? That's all I. That's all I want to know. This is really what it looks like because I don't think it is what it is, and and now we're all worried about a fucking goddamn app from fucking China. Um, or wherever it's from. Is it even a Chinese app? Was it made in China? Or is it just attached to a Chinese company? Because I don't, I don't even know what ByteDance is. I know that China has its own version of a TikTok. That's nothing like the one that's been launched in the United States. In fact, the one thing I've learned in the last 10 fucking years, the majority of companies, um, that are trending and popular amongst the American people are run by... People from China. Yeah, just putting that out there. Um, not that that really matters, though. Like, considering um, they're looking at Russia and, and wondering when they're going to turn their back, if you get my drift. Wink, wink. Um, that's not going to last very long. That That's not going to last very long. That Russia's got too much land and too much opportunity to just be ignoring them, too. They're a threat, too. They're just as white as the ones over here, just with a better accent. That's all. So, uh, Russia might want, actually want to watch its back, because, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. But, uh, they're some, they were my enemy's enemy for a reason, you know? I'm behind on the eight ball, like, that all depends, but sure. I know some people are anti-regulation when it comes to these things, and I get that. But, but when it comes to social media and its impact on, on, on us and China and also AI and how behind the eight ball they are on that, I feel they're just like one step behind on all of this. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not really... By the way, I just want to make it clear, I don't believe China's going to do a damn thing. They're going to have someone else do it. Sure, that, that gives me a lot of um, confidence. Yeah. Or it'll end up being like the Latunza all over again. It's either or. Either some like rando is going to be like, a new challenger approaches. Or the United States is going to just uh, go ahead and put itself in because it's bored and everyone else is taking too long. One of the two. That's usually how it goes. But I, I think a lot of people, though, that are on TikTok, like, this is their livelihood. Like, people have built businesses yeah, oh, totally. mm -hmm. from TikTok. And I'll even say, like, TikTok has my most followers. I kind of stopped using it since all this stuff has been going. I'm like... So, what, should the, should the American government just bail these businesses out just because they built their businesses on, like, TikTok? <clears throat> and they paid their taxes. He's about to check their phone in like three minutes. I don't know. I don't Since post the on there. Are you, <laughs> Since I start, yeah, I've started doing more um, Instagram, but it is amazing how um, TikTok you can increase your following so fast. There's Speaking so many that, more views than Instagram. I can. I think I can read this for a couple minutes. Just found out <laughs> four point forty four billion minutes per year is what the average adult. Four forty four. I say spends it. Well, on TikTok. On TikTok Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Eighteen. What? Hold the fuck up. I haven't heard the 444. 
found that 4.44 billion minutes per year is what the average adult in the United States spends it. Well, on TikTok. On TikTok. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. 18.2% are 18 to 24 year old women. Um, on TikTok. So yeah. Some of y'all need a fucking life. My God. 18 to 24 year old women. Hmm. United States. Social media can suck you in. Like I tell you all the time, sometimes I'll go to my Instagram to check a message from someone or yeah. look up something. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's your feed and you're like distracted. And then you're like, why did I come here? Yeah. I came here for a reason and, and I got distracted. I mean, it sucks. I mean, that's not it. It, it. Like it's 2 p.m. and you looked at your phone and you saw a TikTok video. Then you saw another one. Then you saw another one. Now it's 2 a.m. the next day. Like, you didn't sleep the night over. It went over a whole other day, and now it's like two mornings over. That's what TikTok does. She went. I think I finally just drew the line at TikTok. I have an account, but I've never posted on it, and I don't ever log on to it. Um, I've never, never be, even been on it. Oh, oh, well, you, you've been on mine. Um, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only because, not that I don't enjoy it, because it, it does suck you in, but I think I got the point where it was like, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter You're already like, take oh, take up way too much of my time. I was like, I, I don't need a yeah. a fourth platform to do that. Um, but yeah, I think to your point, some people make money off of it. It's right. lucrative, um, and for that, and for some other YouTube. reasons, I don't. Think, you can make money on YouTube. I yeah. love YouTube. I spend more time on that than yeah. any others. Okay. Right. So it's education. Shout out to this man for being old school with it. It's fun, it's music, it's whatever you want. Well, some it's of us are required yeah. to post on these platforms, so I wonder what will happen with that as well. Because I know, I think we're just required to post on Facebook and Instagram. But what? I know some newsers that are required to, you know, make the TikToks. And, right? Yeah. Wow. Really? Hold up a fucking minute. There's requirements for news people to have, like, social media. So, okay, hold on a minute. Just, just my brain just went somewhere far out there. I'm gonna follow it, right? So, if news people are required to have social media presence, does that mean that that's required for politicians as well? And that's why Donald Trump had a Twitter going off on that shit. Who else is required to have social media presence? I didn't realize that. I thought they just did it on their own. I didn't know it was a job requirement or a requisite. I guess I'm not in. Huh. So now people are being so now individuals are being forced to have an online presence. Oh boy, looks like the time when you don't need a fucking phone and, and a social presence is gone, boys and girls. It's about to be forced. That serial number on your IB is about to be your present home. If it breaks down, oh, you're gonna have to switch all of your shit over, ain't you? Shout out the PC Master Race. Are you stations so, mm hmm. So yeah, that will uh, slippery. probably change. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. If there's a ban. I'm telling yeah. you, I would be okay if social media just went away. Well, I do. She is as sure as fuck of herself. Like, look at it. It's never going to go away. Like, listen to this one. She's so proud of herself. Cocky as fuck. I do think, and going I, to I, your point. I say point, this as a person who posts on social yeah. media almost on a daily, but like, I, I just more and more, I think it's just not good. I, um, I post on on. Instagram the most and I enjoy scrolling through it and I enjoy too like my Facebook with my friends that I can see what they've been up to but what you know going back to what Kia said on like being required to post and That's we know crazy, e bitch. every person in news has to do it and even businesses you know they want to get out there on social media but it is interesting everything that we're doing now in these schools now suing social media companies for what it's doing to students mental health well yeah. mm -hmm. we're humans too so like it it can affect mental overall, health. So it'll be interesting to see how businesses now approach it with this new research. So overall. The reason why it's bad for kids is because their brains aren't developed enough to understand right or wrong yet. Like, God damn. Look, it's not that fucking hard. Kids are too mentally unstable, not mentally ill, mentally unstable, to understand that maybe they're going too far. Like, you know, as I get older, I realize when I was younger, I was a little shit, right? I didn't listen to nothing. Hell, I still don't listen to shit, but it turns out that's a good thing. 
sometimes listening to myself is much more important than worrying about what everybody else thinks. Because apparently, that's just how I operate. But anyway, um, but when I was younger, I was a little shit. I look at teenagers and people in their 20s. And I don't want to spend any time in a room alone with them. I'm getting, I'm getting to that age where it's just like, you, like you're getting on my fucking nerves. Sit down, like you know, they're they're like small children to me now, which is crazy. Um, just looking at people who are like twenty years younger than me and being like, oh my god, I, I like you're so fucking annoying. I don't think I don't need to put up with you. Go do some young man and or sir or lady or whoever it is I'm talking to. Go do some. You know, but the thing is, it's like, kids be wildin'. Kids be wildin'. But it's not really because of social media as much as it was that it was convenient for parents to put a, a tablet or YouTube kids onto their screen and let their kids watch that shit instead of actually interacting with their children. Um, the last, I'll say, 10 years... Parents have really taken an easy route with their kids. They've gotten the easy route with their kids. Our parents didn't have the convenience. My parents, at least, didn't have the convenience of technology to distract their kids from talking to them and shit. They actually had to interact with us. They dealt with us one-on-one -on -one and all together constantly. They were always present with us. Always watching us. You know, they were the big brother I that observed us all the fucking time. Like, my parents um, were hard, but they were fair. Amongst other things that I, I that are not entirely valid. Like, you know, they weren't the best, but they did the best that they could. That's all I have to appreciate, right? But, um, parents nowadays really don't interact with their children. You know, I think my generation, millennials, like, some of them had kids. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me feel a little bit better not having a child because I, Lord knows, I wouldn't like myself if I fucked my own kid up. Oh, is social media better? Are we better for us with social media or not? It seemed that there were fewer problems, connected. and there we may be better yeah. connected. But with kids, it has become a monster, and it's really become yeah. something has really been very negative for what's happened mm -hmm. with our kids. So you can you, know, you, you can absolutely you, what you were talking about ben. you can you yeah. absolutely find um, some amazing, wonderful stories about social media and and the good it's done. And, uh, yes. and I totally yes. believe that. I just feel like. To my prior point, it's gone completely unchecked, <laughs> and, uh, okay. and, and it's a, a bit of a wild, wild west as far as any sort of regulation when it comes. Okay, the men, they get it. She's fighting for it. The black woman shutting the fuck up because she like every black person shuts up when daddy's in the room, apparently. Uh, but she's also being the smartest one in the room by not opening her mouth and showing how dumb she actually is. So keep that in check, ladies. Um, if there's one woman talking and having the floor, let her talk. Let her keep talking. Because you want to listen to what she says and how the men are going to react. Because how she acts, depending on how the men be, deal with her attitude, is what you should avoid. And you should just be more pleasant than that. Just pay attention. Let, let the prettier bitches talk first. Pretend every chick is prettier than you. Let her speak first. Keep your mouth shut till they're all done talking, and then you can open your mouth and let yourself sing like the pretty bird you is, because now you know exactly how to behave. Thank you for coming to my hex talk. Let's do it. And, and people, kids especially, are living more here than here. You well, know? We were kind of talking about this yesterday with the yeah. cell phone debate, I think. Well, yeah, I guess the same sentiment I had yesterday applies to this. It's going to come down to which freedoms folks want to give up. Yeah, yeah like, you, you see? You see what she did there? And it's like, she waited until everyone had their turn to talk. And then she decided to say something. And it wasn't much of anything. But she did give the sentiment, you need to watch my previous shit in order to know what we talked about. Gearing views towards whatever video the fuck she's talking about. I don't know which one she's talking about. I have no idea who these fucking people are. But it's there. She was the smartest one in the room. Shout out to that lady. Yeah, uh, Jake, to that point. Yeah. Um, no freedom of speech is a right for everybody in the country as long as it doesn't cross the line. TikTok should be legal in the U.S. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Mm -mm. Well, listen, no matter what happens to TikTok or... What? What the fuck? It's a company! Y'all need to make up your fucking minds. Y'all need to make up your fucking minds. Y'all need to make... You, like, you can't... Y'all, people cannot keep 
getting mad at, at like corporations and the government for fuck shit they do. But then the minute a favorite of yours is about to get banned for possibly being something that's against like uh, the country, which mind you, this is the not this is not the first time. This is not the first time that they've gone to court about uh, TikTok. This is not the first time they've had representatives of that app in court question them. And um, once again, the cultural differences in uh, each party makes it clear that uh, communications ain't going to be dead as a door with a dog nailed to it, basically. Uh, lots, lots of... Uh, mm, just, just, I, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. People are, are much more intrigued about what... People are doing more for a fucking app. <sighs> mm. Help them learn, they know not what they do. <clears throat> but I don't either, cause, uh, uh, it's like, ah, uh, is it like, you know, when everyone talks about NFTs and carbon, um, footprinting or whatever the fuck it is, right? What do you think TikTok is? Or YouTube? Or uh, places like Venmo, BitChute, uh, da -da 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 Instagram. Behance, that's another one too. DeviantArt. Honestly, a lot of websites where it's collecting continuous information. Where people are constantly uploading. How much data footprinting do you think is in that? No, we just use it. I, I, like, mm. I You know, people wonder why other people or immigrants try to get in this country all the fucking time. Uh, they always they wonder that shit all the fucking time. Social media will always have this. Anyone, <laughs> right, anyone if you right. like to buy it, you could buy it probably from uh -uh, the Chinese yeah. for a good price. Right? <laughs> from the that will be interesting to see uh, One what happens. One billion dollars. Actually, more than Larry, that. Larry, you can own it. I there you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's all right here. <laughs> it's right, all right there. Let us know what you think. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Yeah, TikTok says... I'm just saying a better solution would be to turn TikTok into a blockchain itself. That, like, that would make the most sense to me. Like, you can keep what you have. You put in so much for every month or so many months. Maybe 15 a month. Make it $5 a, a month for it. You can unlock more features along the way as the kids do. Collect funds the same way. Do hashtags. All that shit. And it would be a lot more organized and concise as well. You wouldn't have to worry about people jumping everywhere to find someone talking about black people. Or about, like, weird things about, like, people who are transsexual. Where it, you kind of become obsessed and make whole news stories about it. As if, it, like, it affects you. Um, or going there to tell people that, like, your students can't fucking read. Um, instead of actually coming up with a solution for, to help the kids fucking read. You know? <laughs> hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm just being mean in this. I, I'm, But I'm just sitting here thinking like, you know, there are so many better ways to go around this shit, but everyone's too dumbed down by the internet to actually think. So there that is. You all have a good one. I love your face. Bye.